these days it's not very uh it's not a very nice time to be looking for a job um which is what I'm in the process of doing I got a I got a couple of interviews lined up I had an interview Monday with the grocery store it's Friday now I haven't heard back I went and asked asked about it and they were like we'll call you back they haven't called me back yet I'm hoping they call me back soon um, I did apply for a job well, you don't need you, you don't need to know my troubles just just know that I'm in the lookout for a job and I would be very happy if I were a professional author. Um, there are two things uh, that I would love doing. First and foremost is becoming a professional author. Um, I've written 14 books plus, you know, change. None of them have been successful. If you want to listen to an audiobook, down below, comment. I'll PM you a, a promo code for the book called Mac. I, I showed you the book in my last video. And if anyone wants to uh, visit the Psychic Realm, again, comment below. I'll bring you up there and show you around. I really like these. These are um, dinner mints. They're basically just balls of powdered sugar with a little bit of mint flavor. Pretty good. Get all that for a while, but I like candy. What can I say? I'm pretty sure everyone likes candy. Almost everyone. I shouldn't make generalizations like that. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep talking about the spectral realm. What should I call it, by the way? That, that realm. That place. Again, um, I've told you this before. You probably didn't believe me, but I am completely serious about wanting to build a telepathic a telepathic system of communication. I think it's entirely possible. I think it is easily achievable. And I think the only thing preventing it from actually happening is the fact that people's minds are just... Most people, their minds are closed. Most people, when, when you talk to them, they, they, can't, they don't really consider um, um, out of context, out of, out of bounds, out of bounds ideas. So, most people have locks on their, on their thought. Um, if you, if you know what I'm trying to talk about. Um, you probably, maybe you've experienced this before. Some people just don't, some people just don't get the the fact that there's some really crazy stuff out there um, and even if they do get it they don't they don't talk about it um, they think it's weird they think they think the person trying to tell them about it is crazy and while I have been diagnosed as schizophrenic um, I don't believe I'm psychotic right now um, if you think I may be psychotic, well, you're probably wrong because you're not a licensed psychiatrist, but um, you don't have to watch my videos if you don't want to. I mean, I, I, the only reason why I'm making these videos, continuing to make these videos, is because they, 
they're getting a modest response. Um, I'm not looking for an audience. I'm not looking to to please people. I'm just sort of uploading videos that tell you what I'm thinking about at any one particular moment. Um, I really don't have anything to talk about, actually. But that's when the best topics come up, isn't it? When you're when you're searching around for things to talk about. Some of the most interesting conversations you can have have happened after both parties just sit there saying nothing. Um, so uh, let me tell you about the time that I uh, I became a fish in my dream. Um, so um, um, a fish. Uh, anyway, so there's this guy. Um, there's this this. Um, deity. I think he may be Odin, although I'm not entirely certain. Um, anyway, so for a while, I, uh, I tagged along with this entity who may have been Odin from Norse mythology, Norse, Norse mythology, who uh, went places in his dreams. Anyway, so I, I went with him into a fish. So I became a fish. I became a fish and this guy who I was with, um, I know he was a male persona, but I don't really know. I, this I dreamed this. Uh, this was when I was dreaming. Um, some of these events happened while I was aware and awake, and some of these events, about a small portion of them, happened while I was actually dreaming. Anyways, so we were living in a paradise coral reef, and this guy said something stupid or did something stupid. And fish society sort of outcast us to the um, the greater waters, the greater ocean waters. And first off, I have to say, um, the greater ocean waters feel very dirty, mostly because of the stuff humans put in it. But number one, the uh, the open waters of the ocean feel very dirty, very contaminated. Number two. The open waters of the ocean are filled with gigantic electric whales that eat fish. So those are actually trawlers, fishing boats. Um, but to a fish, the gigantic nets that swallow up large amounts of them are whales. They're, they don't see the ship on top. All they see are the, uh, the nets and they have this electric feel to them, like uh, electric whales. Um, electric whales so um, and then uh, in my dream I, I sort of transitioned to a very happy coral paradise reef and then my fish body went into a conveyor belt and I realized as the fish during that dream in that conveyor belt that was going up that I was in a fish farm and I was about to be harvested. And my fish my fish persona was like, oh my god, I can't handle this anymore. And woke up my body and I cut off from the connection. So it didn't end. It didn't end well. I'm pretty sure that fish got farmed and eaten. Um, uh, another time while I was dreaming, um, I realized that reality is just um, a lonely god trying to entertain himself. So us, people, we, people, are all manifestations of a, um, a lonely being or a lone being trying to entertain itself. Uh, I'm not entirely certain if that is a physical representation or a metaphysical representation or neither or both, but um, it was very interesting. It was very revealing. Right another dinner minute. So, again, uh, my, my channel before was based on ASMR. Um, 
But I feel like I've contributed all I can to the ASMR world. If you want to watch my videos, they're they're on my channel. I also have other things. There's this one project I tried to um I tried to go through with this root beer. Root beer. Spreckers root beer. Best stuff. Anyways. Uh, there's this project that I called uh, the Oral Tradition Podcast, where I would interview regular people and get them to tell their interesting stories, because I'm sure pretty much everyone has an interesting story or two to tell. Um, and I interviewed two people. I posted one of them. You can see the video on my channel. It's called An American in Japan. It was about one of my professors. Uh, he was an English professor, not an English professor, a communications professor. Uh, at my school, and he had some very interesting stories to talk about, about his time in Japan. He lived in Japan for a period of time as an English teacher. Very interesting. One of these days, I want to go to Japan. I watch too much anime not to. Um, I want to go to Japan one of these days because I watch a lot of anime, and I'm pretty sure I can understand a good portion of what's said to me in Japanese, although I can't really speak it that well. I haven't had practice speaking it. Um, I do have a lot of practice uh, listening to it, because I've watched thousands of hours of anime, yikes, thousands and thousands and thousands of hours, <sighs> so, um, one of the things I learned how to do while I was up in uh, the, the spectral realm, the metaphysical realm, was um, metaphysical body manipulation. So um, I, I gained an ability where I could manipulate the, um, the essence of a person, um, where I could like hold my hands over someone and be like you got a little tension here, I'm gonna release the tension there, I'm gonna release the tension there and I can sort of like palpitate a a person's aura and change it with my with my mind I suppose. I've actually never tried it on someone uh, with their permission and asked them what they what they felt. Um, I want to do that one of these days. Maybe even do a, a study, a um, a proper scientific study, but that's far away. Probably will never happen. This kind of stuff, most people just dismiss as crazy. Um, and you know, I would have too back then, uh, back before I experienced it all, but um, what can I say? Once you've seen it, once you've been up there, once you've experienced the stuff that's up there, you just, your mindset changes, you know. It becomes less about the wow factor and more about the, look at this. This is part of reality, too. It's just normal. And uh, if, if anyone thinks it's extraordinary, then they, they'll only think that for a little while once they actually get there. They'll be like, well... I don't know how this how this coalesces into my experience of reality, but um, yeah, I mean it's not really an experience of reality. It's more of an internal experience, and internal experiences sometimes can be divorced from the reality of a situation. And at those times, you have to sort of hold on to both aspects and attempt to meld them together so like someone who's never been to the spectral realm before once they go there they have to assimilate what they've seen what they've learned into their everyday existence and it's a little bit difficult to do that so most of the time when people come down from this reality they just forget that it ever happened um, and don't talk about it again which is to say, uh, I think there is some kind of 
uh, bounded field around this this metaphysical reality that for some reason I was able to break. Um, and when you go up there, it's like a dream. You go apparently to other people, not to me. I remember everything that's happened up there. But apparently, for most people, when they go up there, um, it's a it's it's a dream. They go up there, they come down, they forget about it, or at the very least, they don't talk about it again. And I always, I'm always willing to just bring people up there. Um, that's my, that's one of my main goals when I interact with people who are open-minded or who know what I'm talking, who, who know the stuff I'm talking to them about, and uh, I can show them this world, um, through a couple of mind exercises. I posted a couple of them down there, uh, uh my previous videos, I posted a couple of previous, previous videos where I, um, brought you on a guided tour of this land. There's some scary stuff up there, but there's also some very beautiful stuff. There's some, there's some interesting stuff, some beautiful stuff, some scary stuff, some crazy stuff, some stuff I've built that I didn't even know how I built it. Um, I built this self-replicating problem-solving algorithm. That's what the white space is, the fuzzy white space. If you you know you'll know what I'm talking about if you watched my previous video on the spectral realm, guided tour of the spectral realm. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll keep calling it the spectral realm. It's a real thing. It's about as real as I think, therefore I am. You know? Cognito ergo sum. Uh, this, this is about about as real as your thoughts and my thoughts. This, this realm. It's an extra thought realm. Um, it's not your thoughts. It's, it's the thoughts of the galactic thought server. I don't know how to explain it. Once you've gone up there, and if you wanna, if you want me to show you around, I can. Ask, ask down below, comment, and say, I want you to do a live stream where I show you guys around the place and talk to you telepathically. Which you'll probably, you know, react to it like most people do, which is they ignore it or they, they either ignore it or they forget about it and never talk about it again. That's it. I've never actually met someone who stayed the course with me and seen the universe and seen everything it can offer. I've tried talking to people I know in real life. I've tried talking to you guys. The more I offer, the more the silence goes deafening. Deafening silence. Like I said, I'll push this in every single video I post. If you want me to show you this spectral realm, and I guarantee you'll be able to go up there without any sort of illicit substance. Comment below, and we'll start a live stream. You got it? This is a totally serious offer. I can bring you, I can, I can introduce you to Athena and Zeus and Poseidon and, and I'll let you see Mount Olympus or meet Odin or see some pretty scary hyperspace stuff. If you don't believe me, try me. Comment below. If you seriously don't believe it, try me. We'll do a live stream, interact through comments, and I can bring you up there. And we can meet in a psychic person. I'm 100% serious. 100% serious. This is as real as any of your thoughts. If everyone who's taken me up on this offer has seen this reality. Everyone. I've never not been able to bring someone up here. You want to see some cool stuff? You want to see the essence of evil? You want to see the essence of good? Hit me up. You want to travel Mount Olympus? Walk around, walk around that famous place. It's looking pretty nice now. It's been cleaned up. When I got there, it was a dump. Three, four years ago, ravaged by, by uh, idiots with LSD. They totally destroyed the old gods. These idiots, there's was, there was one in particular, but they're these idiots who take drugs. They go up there. Drugs give you a lot of power in the psychic realm. They just wreck shit up. 
and I kind of fixed it for him. I went up there and I was like, God, this place is nasty. You guys really need to know how to... Anyways, so... Um, this offer is completely serious. If you want to see the Spectral Realm, comment down below. I will start a live stream. You can be there. Everyone else can be there. And we can document this. I'm completely serious. And I'm not crazy. Or, or If you think I'm crazy, then why not? But I don't believe I'm psychotic right now. Or delusional. Like, I'm not super special. I'm not any more special than anyone else. I'm a normal person who's just had a little bit of a weird experience. Uh, 1 plus 1 equals 2. 1984 is my favorite book, but it's, you know... You be the judge of that. Tomorrow, I'll plug the same thing. Comment below. If even one person is interested in seeing the Spectral Realm, I will show you around. That's it. Drink a lot of soda. Flatten the curve. Stay isolated. Don't let the coronavirus spread. Talk to you guys later.